In the early 1900s, Lombard and South Street Corridor is the commercial and entertainment heart of Black South Philadelphia. As part of the nightlife in this neighborhood in Philadelphia, there are so many theaters. On South Street, there were um, three main theaters. The Lincoln, the Standard Theater, and the Royal Theater. And all of them catered primarily to black audiences. All of the major acts that come to Philadelphia play the Standard, which is a vaudeville house purchased by John T. Gibson in 1914. He becomes the wealthiest African-American in the city of Philadelphia. These theaters were attracting many of the most prominent African-American musicians who were touring nationally. Whether it's Louis Armstrong or Duke Ellington. Bessie Smith from Philadelphia. Fats Waller frequently played organ at one of the local theaters. What's really interesting about these theaters is that they really did show a wide range of performances, things that African Americans would not be able to partake in in other parts of the city. They would show everything from movies to children's shows. These were really hubs for the community because they were places that were integrated which was a big deal for black Philadelphians because it was one of the few spaces in the city where they did not have to be segregated. We often think of, you know, the Harlem Renaissance taking place in New York City where there's a hub of artists and musicians. Well, the same thing is happening in Philadelphia, and this is really the heart of that community.